seem to be disentangled. Quantum theory says that is an illusion, perhaps created by the mind. I would say the, the dialogue ought to be between spirituality and science, rather than between classical world and quantum world. Classical world is a special, special, very special case of the quantum world. There's no dialogue there. But there is a dialogue between spirituality and science. There's a dialogue between philosophy and science, between quantum theory and religion. Those are important dialogues that need to take place. Quantum theory has opened the door of philosophy in a very direct way, and therefore scientists have two choices, and I always tell that to my science friends. Either you enter the dialogue or you pretend that everything is fine. You sweep it under, under the carpet. But sweeping it under the carpet does not make the problem go away. Quantum theory is opening the door of, through the entanglement and the non-locality, a much more holistic world. And I would say when we begin to realize the worldview that quantum theory puts forward, it's going to be at least as transformational as at the time of Galileo.